So like, get in your room and I'll lock the door and you'll have no choice but to rest in that bed. Deal. Deal. Ta-da! Fixed. Stupid bruises. Rantani's still broken. That wasn't too terrible. I mean, we lost Seraph, which sucks, but... Given how many people we had to fight, that wasn't too bad. Tree quality, 173%. Jesus. Nailed it. 18 per day, 29 per day. And you're resting. Good. Jack. Doctor? I know I had a second doctor somewhere. At least somebody who was capable of doing okay. Mudman, Wheatley, the few. Ah. Tree Mudman, Jason, you look fucking horrible. <laughs> Both goods. I would have Seraphil do it, but. So we need another warden, actually. And artists. We have no artists. I think I'm okay without artists. Honestly, we have enough art, and it doesn't really sell too terrifically well unless you're doing stone, but in which case it takes fucking forever. I'd really rather just be doing weapons and armor. Well, clothes. So, no artists, that's fine, but I do need another person who's, uh, social. Not muskians. Mm, not necessarily Wheatley. I guess the few. You're missing a kidney, which is... that's fine. Alright, and uh, nighttime warden would be cool, so... Oh, you are nighttime. Okay, how about a daytime warden, then? I guess... Kenshiro, sure, we'll do Kenshiro. Alright, you got a bionic eye, that's fine. No, like, denture injuries, though, or anything like that, so you are still capable of talking. I think we're okay. Shattered rib, but, um... I think that's just enough for a little bit of pain constantly, which sucks, because now he's always in a little bit of pain. Kind of want to just punch out somebody who's a masochist and uh, just get that going that way. Keep pain, urgently hungry, consuming a package meal from way over there. How about that one? It's better for you. Actually, how about that one? It's a fine meal. It's even, even better. This needs to be auto rearm. Somebody will get around to doing it. Security, just a steel turret there. That turret's okay. Oh, I'll steel turrets for the win, man. There, layer it. So it'll take many, many, many grenade blasts to get through. I don't think I need that one. I can almost guarantee somebody will um, bury themselves in there. Okay, can you do, like, the corpses first? Thanks. Cool. <laughs> and that's, like, all crappy train up there. Yeah, I was thinking about making a little room for uh, corpses. I already have one. Stockpile. Storage, critical importance, clear all, rotten, sure, corpses of specifically humans. Make it happen. And then don't store them here. Right, you're already on it. What's the chances of somebody triggering a trap when they're picking up somebody? Because it looks like he crossed over it to pick them up. So if somebody dies on a trap, ugh, you better get that corpse hauled like ASAP. Well, that charge rifle. I'll just have to manually tell people to do shit, I think, right now. Visiting grave. Oh, right. Could, could we not? Egg. Frail, bad back. Fuck it, you're old as hell. I don't even care. Not even looking at stats. Starvation. Brian Tani is starving. Brian Tani is still broken. Oh, 
how are we doing up here? About to break his mood because holy shit. Uh, feeling bad, shared bedroom. It's a little bit crowded. You're in prison. It's ugly. Uh, ally's death. Oh uh, god, uh, fucking horrible. Very neurotic, too. God. 56 years old? God. <sighs> Can we just, like, quickly release them? Like, oh my god, please release them now. I don't want them and they're about to break. You're 24. Your mood is just hanging in there. We're in constraining clothes, so we'll strip you. There you go. Bang. Better mood. Aha. -ha. Should be staying somewhat warm in there. A little disappointed that this didn't actually fix my issue. Or at least it didn't seem to. It still um fluctuates a bit. We just we always have that. So then it was recommended that I go with the double wall approach with the double door thing. That's what this is. Hopefully we finish that up and then I'll check again and see if that helps a bit because when these doors open and all that, that might be affecting it a bit. Another exotic goods trader. Jesus. Starvation still. I think that's, yeah, it's still Brian Tani. We're kind of hanging in there with meals, sort of. Ugh. Wasn't there a bulk goods? Talk to them. Maybe we can buy food. As sad as that is. Remember all that food that I had that I sold? This is why I never do that, because then if I fuck up, I have a really long time to figure it out. We have a lot of potatoes, though, Jesus. And of course, they're not selling any meals. They're selling chocolate, which is cool, but, uh, and huskies, which is awesome. Hopefully, I get my puppy soon. Okay, bulk goods. I like bulk goods. Let's talk to uh, the other guy first. What are you? Exotic goods. Yes. So what I can't do. Superior wooden large sculpture. It is the last thing that, um... No, okay, that was Seraphil. It's called Tune with Terrorism. The last thing he ever made. And it's superior. It's, um, some Jays playing roulette. Careful around here. Hundreds of tiny termites. To the exotic goods, we are selling off the crappy clothes, the sculpture, and we are buying, I'm also selling the squirrel, we are buying a pain stopper because that is awesome. It makes you not feel pain, doesn't affect your consciousness, which is awesome. And the simple prosthetic arm we are buying, obviously because simple prosthetic arms are fantastic because you can't have stump arms and lacking an arm sucks. So that's that, because I think Quen. Oh, and yes, I could take, before anybody comments, I could take a kidney off of somebody that I didn't care about before getting rid of them, but um, scavenging organs off of prisoners is a very, very negative thing, and that affects people for like a fucking week. So I'd rather just get you off here and uh, not have to deal with it at all, because you're about to break too, and then you start a prison fight, and I have to run in there and stab bitches, and I ain't doing it. Oh, right, because I had somebody who I think needed an arm sooner than later. Old gunshot on the arm, but it's really for you just scarring your eye. Ugh. Um, somebody I thought. That's Muskie, and he's a he's a mess. Right hand cut off on Zello. Yeah, Zello could definitely use it. Matoko as well. Could definitely use it. Like, I got people who, um... How many prosthetic arms do I have now? I just bought one. I'll need you to talk to the people with goods. I'm gonna buy some chocolate or something. Yeah, there's the paint stopper. The prosthetic arm. Oh, we have four. Oh, shit. Alright, cool. So, definitely, um... Definitely surgery up, and anybody who's missing a hand or something like that will give you a prosthetic arm. 
selling off the leathers and stuff that I don't have very much of and buying 50 chocolate. Good amount of chocolate. And I'm pretty sure chocolate just eating on its own is pretty, uh, a pretty cool thing. Maybe, possibly, I'm hoping. I don't know. We'll find out. Consume the chocolate. Let's see what that does for you. Four chocolate. Did fuck all. Okay, so it's strictly an ingredient then. Okay, damn. Well. Would be great if we could find another cook somewhere. God damn it. After growing, you're doing that. Um. Just nobody's ever interested in it. Ever. Take one off growing, you're doing cooking full time now. Which blows because you're not very good at it. Look at how slow you are. There. Flood will help out with cooking. So, wherever Flood is. Where is Flood? Jesus Christ. Way out there, stone cutting. Oh my god. Okay. What's the range on this? Because I know I increased it a lot. And that might have been a little too much. Go back down to 30. That's a bit much. I'd really rather you, at that point, just be doing slag. So that's right there. I love how often I go back and forth on decisions like this. Per mood on Jack. Disturbed sleep, observed corpse, laid off the ground, it's not very nice in here. You should be okay, you're getting back up there. For you, prisoner. We'll be releasing you, because re recruitment difficulty 99? No thanks. And once we get food caught up, because I don't want to be using, um, our cook, and end up fucking ourselves over because we don't have any cooking coming out while we're doing surgery. So we'll wait until we get the food caught up on, which shouldn't be too, too long. I hope. Here, yeah, just eat that. God, have four chocolate. Does that do anything for you, though? It's like nutrition 1%. Yeah, you need to eat a hundred chocolate. God. Raw potato, raw rice. We'll see if that affects you at all. I'd like to think raw potatoes would. Mm -mm. And raw rice, actually. Brian Tiny, thoughts? Eight raw food, minus seven, and you're exhausted. Go sleep. Eight raw food, minus seven, yeah. Neither of those are very fun to eat raw. Understandable. Easiest way to do it, because then the only thing he can possibly do when he's in there is... That looks really weird. Only possible thing he can do when he's in there is sleep, so he tends to do that. Regardless of what time it is. So hopefully this is better. Should fluctuate less, because otherwise then would any of these doors open? Then it through the vent and... It's all fucked up. Door is seven. I think that's better. Ooh, it dips down a, a bit. It still does it every now and again. It's just small rooms out the roof or something, I don't know. BJ Interstellar. Alrighty. Uh, let's see what they've got to offer. The few. Pulling a slag chunk. Alright, on your way back, we'll have you talk. It is a combat supplier. Any nice weapons around to sell? Like, um... Last steel knife. We're thinking like, uh, you know, legendary uranium um, longsword or something like that would be pretty cool. No luck though. Alright. Fine. I didn't want it anyway. Haul that knife. They don't actually have very much, but I'm selling all the plastic longswords we have. That means that we have some melee people who no longer have a sword, but that's fine. I, I desperately need money and I'm buying the medicine while well, it's a decent price not all of it because it's not that good of a price but um 
a good bit of it. And that means that we could talk to the exotic goods trader again. <sighs> of course you put all of it out there, you rat bastards. What are we doing on the food? Catching up yet? Slowly. Quint, seriously. I really gotta find a faster person for that. Quinn, don't cook. Just don't. We'll, we'll find somebody else. Flood's doing it at night time. So that means you really just haul and clean. Ugh. Rather have you clean than haul. You're too slow for hauling. And uh, go for go for animals too. How about that? If cleaning's cut up on, then grow. Okay. So, nighttime cooks. That is Brian Tani and Lower. Brian Tani is doing growing and then that stuff. No. Repair, not grow. Let's take you off that. Just don't do construction. You're going to be mostly a crafter, but cook then craft. You're terrible at cooking. Like, really terrible. And you're not interested, but, uh, I don't really have much choice. You're the only person working nighttime who's not like busy with something else because Motoko's a really good overnight constructor. Um, Jason can't cook at all. Quinn's too slow to cook. Eldcorp is doing nighttime construction and Flood is doing already cooking. I guess Eldcorp will have you, um, will have you cook. Cook then construct, at least temporarily. And that means that you don't need to cook, your skill's zero. So you just have food poisoning like 5% probably. Horrible. And then daytime cooks. Mudman. Girl then cook. After doctoring. Wheelie cooks. After doctoring. It's just, this is my issue is I have so many people who are just terrible at cooking. Like four is usually my limit. Anything under four, you've got like a 2% chance of food poisoning, which is surprisingly high when you're cooking, you know, so many meals. But the issue is, is they're not even interested, so they're not going to really improve at all. It's, um, not good, and it's been that way this entire time. Hopefully that helps us out a little more. I like how we still have some berries in here. It's awesome. And because I redid this, a lot of this is rice, which... That's cool. Um, we've been making simple meals out of meat, I think, mostly. Or okay, you're the you're the fine meal one. Your simple meal out of just meat. Just meat, just not human meat, right? So we're not even using veg, which is why we have such a stockpile of that. So I think these, these rice plants, can turn into strawberries. They're slower, but they're tasty when raw, so they don't mind. You're gonna lose a bit of rice by doing this, but oh well, because this stuff hasn't been harvested yet. 